Hey everyone, welcome to the Different Fins channel. Today I'm going to be doing things a little different. I just finished a fishing session where I caught four beautiful eating sized pike. But what I'm going to do is show you how I clean them. Then if you're still interested you could watch the fishing part after. But the focus of this video is going to be on the filleting or cleaning of the fish. This spring I learned the five fillet method for pike and it's actually quite simple. Pike are one of the best tasting meats in all of Canada for freshwater fish, but they're overlooked by the majority. So keep watching. I'm gonna pull out these fish, and show you how I get it done. One thing I've done, I caught these fish not too long ago, but after dispatching them, I let them sit on a rock in the sun just for 20, 30 minutes enough to dry out the slime. One of the complaints people have cleaning pike is the slime. All fish are slimy but pike have smooth scales so they're hard to hold on to. But right now this fish is mostly dry, the meat is still super fresh. But I can handle the fish easily now to do the work. Alright, first cut, you go behind the head, down to the spine, you'll feel the spine, and then you're just going to turn the knife and follow the backbone and come out just before the dorsal fin. Just like that. And that is your first boneless fillet. Second cut, you'll want to start back here right at the front of the uh, dorsal fin and anal fin in front of the vent. The Y bones or pin bones will end right about here. So you want to cut down, go back to the tail and that is another boneless piece of meat. Down to the bone, turn sideways. And if I was cleaning these at home, you can see how fresh the meat is, it's still twitching. Disturbing I know. I would Keep, uh, I'd keep this attached to the tail and then take the skin off here. But because I'm transporting it, I still have to get home. You should leave the skin on. So, there. And I'm just going to repeat that on the other side. There, see? We have three fillets. I got the two tail pieces and the back strap. Now we're going to deal with the side. The Y bones are the nemesis of cleaning pike. You could actually see the line, the bone sticking up right here. And what you would do is keep your knife mostly vertical, come down right on the outside of this line of bones. Not sure if you could see, I hope you could see the, the two lines of bones. Here's the backbone, the spine, and then you have either side of that, a row of Y bones. So you're just going to come along the side, outside, all the way to the back, without cutting through the bones. Follow the bones. Along the side of the Y bones, and once you're past the Y bones, you just continue down along the ribs, like so. Around the ribs. There, just like that. Now you have, I guess you'd call that the side strip, boneless, beautiful, and repeat on the other side. Keep the knife in there deep, 
so you follow the bones instead of cut through them. Just like that. Beautiful. Yeah, past that bone. And once you get past the Y bones, you could turn it on its side for a more traditional slice, just like that. Follow the ribs. Up around the fin. This is what I get out of one fish. Two tail pieces, the back strap, and two side fillets. Now I just repeat that three more times. There is another variation. I call it the seven fillet method. When I get these home, what I'll do is instead of trying to pin down the skin and take off the whole piece, start in the middle, take this side of meat off the skin, flip it around, you can grab the skin on this side and then go the other way. So you'll end up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of meat per fish. There we go. Sign of life. Go fish. Fish on. Our first pike. Nice healthy looking fish too. And unfortunately for him, he's gonna be food. At least I think so. Need to measure him just to confirm. There we go. Nice healthy looking fish. Zone 5 in Ontario, all pike have to be under 29 and a half inches. This guy is 24 and a half, so it's not your lucky day. I'm gonna go quickly dispatch him. I just landed one pike. Today, that's uh, the size I'm looking for. I really want that Goldilocks size. I don't want the little snot rockets or hammer handles. If I catch a trophy pike, well, that would make my day, but that's not exactly what I'm looking for either. I want those 24 to 29 inch pike. The legal eating size, keeping size. That's what I'm after. One more cast up here, then I'll try it downstream Go, fish on. Another pike. Wow, that lure is gone.
Okay, fish number two. This guy wouldn't make it anyway. Just look how he choked that. I don't want to get hooked. I can feel the one hook. Oh, before I perform any more surgery, I'm going to have to take this fish out and kill it. So I'll add it to the pile. It's clearly not over 20 and a half, so it's a good keeping fish. Well, it wasn't pretty, but I got my hook back. I actually had to take off the rear treble because he swallowed it so deep. That was coming out the back of his gills. And I have two keepers now. And they're essentially twins. Same size. Perfect. Huh. Micro pike. There we go. Fish on. Oh yeah. Another pike. A little on the smaller side, but chunky enough to be edible, I think. It's not very long, but nice thick back on him, lots of meat. Sorry, little buddy. We're almost there. One fish away from a limit. Fish on, just like that. It's fighting decent. Is that my fourth eater? Looks like it. Okay. Woo. That might be the nicest one of the day. Not a giant, but just perfect eaters. They're the exact size of pike I wanted today. Okay. Yeah, another twin. The beautiful pike. Look at the back on that, all that meat. I don't normally keep pike, but they are one of the best tasting fish in uh, Canada, if you know how to clean them right. What a beauty. Well, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed my uh, attempt at making an educational video. If you didn't like the uh, flaying of the pike, hopefully you enjoyed the uh, catching portion. Anyway, tight lines, we'll catch you next time.